Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Kirill Clip from International Lithium. How are you today, Kirill? I am fine, Tracy. How are you? Thank you for having me on. Carol, you've had a real parade of news releases recently. I, I enjoyed reviewing them this morning with our team. And in particular, I thought the Mavis Lake drilling results in Ontario were very exciting. Can you talk to us about this? Yes, yes. We are very excited with this uh, news release, which we released just a couple of weeks ago. We have confirmed the historical results on the Mavis Lake. It's our flagship property now in Canada, in joint venture with Pioneer Resources, and results are truly outstanding. We have some intersections as high as almost 3% of lithium spodium and across the 7.7 .7 meters long. And of course, our investors and investor intel audience watching the electric vehicle uh, industry evolve in North America. We have high-grade deposits here in North America. I just want to confirm this fact. Is that correct? Yes, there are some, but mostly they are in remote areas in Canada. So our competitive adv advantage is our so-called Upper Canada Lithium Pool of Projects that we have a location all across the Great Lakes area, right at the heart of the North American auto manufacturing base. I really appreciate that clarification. You've also recently done a private placement. Can you talk to us a little bit about this? Yes, we announced it a couple of weeks ago as well, and we finished the first tranche, and I'm happy to report that uh, people are really interested, so now we increase the amount of our private placement and we will raise more capital. We just put a story out about uh, International Lithium on Investor Intel about the strategic relationships you have. Can you talk to us a little bit about your relationship with Ganfeng, please? Uh, Ganfeng is providing us not only with capital, enough to advance our Mariana project in Argentina to the resource estimation stage, but also it providing us with technology where we can potentially produce exactly the right specification of raw materials for this one of the top lithium producers in the world from China. And of course, in addition to this relationship with, of course, one of the largest producers of lithium in the world, Ganfeng, you also have a relationship with ASX listed company Pioneer. Can you tell us a little bit more about this relationship? Yeah, this is correct. Uh, we have a very strong relationship now with Pioneer Resources. Uh, the managing director started to look at our properties almost exactly one year ago, and we moved very fast into our agreement stage, and now we have those blockbuster results we just reported. Like I told you, it's some of the intersections are close to 3% of uh, lithium over 7.7 .7 meters, and we have as long intersections as 26 meters now of 1.7%. Uh, I'm very happy to report that our strategic partner, after they reviewed this very interesting intersections and confirmation of historical results, they're talking now to us about extending the program over the summer months as well. So we will have a lot of news coming out of International Lithium over the next few months here. And of course, you have already had a great deal of news this spring. Um, we love Argentina. And in fact, our, uh, our analyst, Christopher Ecclestone, is in Argentina as we speak. And you recently put out uh, a news release about your maiden resource estimate. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the Mariana Lithium Brine Project in Argentina? Yes, Mariana Lithium Brine Project in Argentina is our flagship property. It's under development with Genfeng Lithium. As I mentioned before, it's one of the top lithium producers in the world. And we were very pleased to report early in March that uh, now we have a first resource estimate. And within the uh, next few days, actually, we will be filing our 43 101 report. So all viewers could read the recent data. But now I can share with you what we announced already. It's a huge lithium brine system in Argentina, I will not be afraid to put it within ton, uh, 10 largest lithium brine systems in the world. We have 160 square kilometers 
uh, of the surface of solar, and the data shows us now that at least uh, 135 of them is uh, covered with underneath uh, brine. And at the moment, we have reported 747,000 uh, tons of lithium carbonate equivalent. Of course, international lithium has had a great deal of news already this spring, and you touched on what we should anticipate the next couple of quarters. But do you want to give us kind of an overview about what's happening for you? Yes, there are a few very important news which we expect in literally in a few short weeks will be the filing of our 4301 report, uh, when we can uh, really dive into a lot of technical data on Mariana uh, project in Argentina. Then our another strategic partner, Pioneer Resources from Australia, will be drilling again on Mavis Lake following very impressive results which we just announced. And then it will be the turn of another Canadian project, still with Pioneer, a little bit uh, far away from uh, Mavis, uh, where we will have a drilling campaign, hopefully, in the summer fall season as well. And we are going to see you here in Toronto at May 15th and 16th at the Clean Tech and Technology Metal Summit. Can we sweet talk you, Carol, into bringing some of those uh, ball caps with you? Yes, yes, definitely. I'm looking forward to participating in your so exciting event. I heard so many very, very, very good uh, notes about it, and a lot of people were very excited from the last year. Well, Carol, again, as always, it's a pleasure, and thank you for this excellent update. Thank you very much, Tracy.